So Coinkel has just released the first stable version of Ubuntu Touch for phones and tablets. We are constantly testing Ubuntu Touch on Nexus devices, but after installing the first stable release on my Nexus 4, I can say you should give it a try if you own a Nexus 4. It runs smooth and fast on Nexus 4 without any problems. I can say at this stage, you shouldn't expect this OS to compete with Android since it's a first stable release and I am ha very happy with this release. It is pretty easy to install on your Nexus devices. You can follow the guide. I will leave the download link in the description. But for other devices, you have to do some hacks and other stuff in order to run Ubuntu Touch. Well, it is not really easy to install on other devices if you are not a developer or expert. I can say Ubuntu Touch is stable, but of course it isn't finished yet. Till now, its core apps hasn't been completed 100%. So coming to what's working and what's not working, the dialer app seems to be okay. You can make calls, you can receive calls. The speakerphone is also working nice. The messaging app is working fine. You can see I got just received a text message. So coming to the camera app, we had some issues. You can take pictures, but you can't record videos. I will just show you guys. You can see here, this autofocus is working fine, but when you tap on the video icon, it's not working. The flashlight is also working fine. The front facing camera is okay. When you tap on the flash icon, it will take you to the event section, which is nothing but your gallery where you can watch all your pictures and other stuff. But for some reason, the pictures I had taken with Ubuntu on my Nexus 4 are far better than the pictures I took with my Nexus 4 on Android. I don't know what's the issue, but it will, the camera looks better than Android. Some users are complaining about Wi-Fi and data not working for them, but both of them are working fine for me. I haven't had any issues so far and coming to the web browser, the web browser is perfect. It can also play flash videos but not as smooth as you expected. While version 1.0 is badged as stable by Conical, it is still only aimed at developers. Any users trying it out will find a number of key functions and features missing from this release. Let's talk some about some basic stuff here. Things like copy and pasting, spell checking, contact and calendar syncing are all missing. Lack of email notifications, needing to run terminal commands or ADB to perform certain tasks, not being able to turn off or reboot the phone with a UI are some of the cons with the Ubuntu Touch. The other reason to avoid Ubuntu for now is the power management. Let me be clear, it is much better than it was in the developer preview released earlier in the year, but your phone will need charging far more regularly than it would under Android. My Nexus 4 can manage a good 24 hours before needing to recharge. But on Ubuntu Touch, you will be lucky if it lasts along 12 hours. So battery dies faster on Ubuntu Touch. Another thing to watch out is app selection. It's great that despite not even being 12 months old, there are already a number of third party apps for Ubuntu. There is no email app, no a dedicated mapping app, but don't even think about WhatsApp. And gaming is especially lacking. Sudoku and checkers may be timeless classics, but chances are you will find yourself itching for something more entertaining like Dead Trigger, Angry Birds and Candy Crush. So just take a quick look on what's working and what's not working. I had the animated lock screen which is working perfectly. I had a perfect web browser which can play flash videos but not as smooth as expected. I had the camera, the front and back cams are working fine. The flash is working perfectly but the video is not working. I had the contacts, dialers. I had the gallery app, I had the messaging app, I had the update manager, I had the file manager, but it, it is only able to open the video files. I had the stock ticker app, the calculator, calendar, clock and notes apps, music player, but with basic controls, I had the terminal. Files can be transferred via USB cable, but it is only tested under my Ubuntu desktop. Sudoku and dropping letters games, Facebook, which is much, much better than the earlier release. Many other applications can be installed with just one click. You can enable or disable dash plugins. So what's left out of the Twitter app is not available still. At the, so you don't have the software manager. You don't have a dedicated video player, but videos can be played with file manager. You don't have the Ubuntu one app. You don't have the file manager. You had the file manager, but it's lack of features. You don't have a dedicated email client and many more things are missing and that's about the Ubuntu stable release guys. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos and do leave your phone feedback down in the comment section.
So that's it for now. It's goodbye.